next one is gray leaf spot. This one's different. This is a different pathogen than what you're going to see with the previous leaf spot and melting out we talked about. I actually get this one in my St. Augustine, and it's pretty much there in small amounts everywhere all summer. It never really manifests. I'll just see some leaf, some spots on the leaves. I know that's gray leaf spot here and there, but it doesn't, the lawn still looks great. It doesn't kill anything. Nothing dies. That's because my lawn is constantly moving. You know, in the spring and the fall, when I'm allowed to fertilize, I push it hard and it just pushes the leaf spot right out. And this is, again, I don't necessarily want to tell you that if you have gray leaf spot, you need to go and fertilize. But what I do want to tell you is, is if you have gray leaf spot and you have St. Augustine grass and you're just following a generally good, healthy program of applications like I talk about, It shouldn't become a problem. It should just grow through. It should just work its way through. It shouldn't cause any type of damage. Now, I will tell you, though, that I notice it getting really bad on my St. Augustine. By the way, this can also get into Bermuda, centipede, fescue, and ryegrass, this gray leaf spot, but I I have the most experience with it on my St. Augustine grass. But I will tell you that where it will manifest is if I cut my lawn when it's wet in the morning and there's dew. Every time I do that, I get this really weird shredding of my grass blades doesn't matter how how sharp my mower blade is when i cut it wet that saint augustine you get these brown shreds at the end that will exacerbate the leaf spot it'll get much worse because the pathogen then i guess is just spreading because it's getting into those injured spots and it can get really bad but again I'm not pushing anything extra on it, but my lawn is still pushed. It keeps growing. Even in the summer, we have all this lightning that comes in and keeps the lawn growing really fast. I'm still, I haven't fertilized my lawn since the very beginning of May where I put the Carbon X over there and we're already at the end of June and I still have to mow every three or four days. If you subscribe to my channel, you're going to see this weekend, I actually did a video comparing the Toro Time, no, the Toro Super Recycler and the Honda HRX. That's coming out Sunday. My son helped me film it. I was at six days of growth and way overgrown. You'll see it terrible. And I haven't fertilized that area over there uh, in in two months. It's just how things grow. Now, do I want to say Carbon X is awesome? Yeah, the color still looks good. But really what it is, is we just get so much rain and lightning, at least we have here for the last several weeks. It keeps my lawn growing fast. And that just keeps that leaf spot growing out of there. And of course, I'm supporting my lawn with healthy things. I'm keeping the soil healthy. I keep micronutrients in there, which I did an application of those last week. The micronutrients just help everything to kind of move. It all works together. I just don't think leaf spot is something that you need to be super concerned about. Just let it kind of do a thing. If it does get really bad for some reason, if gray leaf spot really starts to take your lawn over, then again, you're going to use a double application here. You're going to use my bulletproof strategy, but you're going to use it in a curative manner, and you're going to use propiconazole and azoxystrobin together, and you can apply both of those every 14 days, but it shouldn't take you more than a couple apps, and that should clear right up. And just to put a bow on this, to go back to it, when you have gray leaf spot, I'm not telling you to push a ton of nitrogen, but this is one of those cases where I'm telling you that that half a pound of nitrogen that I typically talk about you applying in the summer is fine. Just keep with that. Maybe you separate those by six weeks instead of four. Just use that. You can use malorganite if you want. You can use Ringer Lawn Restore, whatever you want to find. Just nice, low, steady doses in the summer if you have gray leaf spot should keep it pushing out. Not going to be a problem.